it'll never be we don't hit 55. It'll be we have not hit 55 yet. Well, I'm pretty passionate about my students and about our school, but when I think of 55%, I think of beyond them as a person. And that means because um, when you're credentialed, you've proven your trainability, you've proven your growth, you've proven your flexibility. And that leads to stable and gainful employment. So good money coming in. And that extends beyond our students. So that enables them to buy the dream house, to raise the dream family. Um, it increases our tax base, it increases our economy. It means that businesses can grow because they've got wonderfully skilled employees that they can bring in. But it also then kind of trickles down into the family, right? It means better schools. It means not having to hold two jobs. It means being able to spend more time with your kids, with your family. It means being able to take care of your house build your neighborhood, join community centers, help growing other students, giving that leg up to the next to the next one in line. So I think that the beautiful thing about 55 to me is I believe and I feel like it's the tipping point that then becomes this perpetually running engine um, that helps Southwest Florida become an economic powerhouse uh, which benefits everyone, which benefits those coming up. It benefits our seniors because we've got great infrastructure. We've got wonderful health care with caring individuals who are credentialed and ready to take care of them. We've got people to make our community grow. Uh, so all of that is just kind of an outward blossoming um, from the credentialed individual all the way out through their family, through their community, through their churches, through their organizations, uh, through our schools. So all of that, I hope, uh, is what Southwest Florida looks like when we hit that 55%.